Hello, everybody and professor. This is uh, Douglas Snyder. Um, I am doing the uh, week five lab, and um, today I'm going to be doing the lemon electrochemical cell fire. And, and what the purpose of this lab is to do is to start a fire using a lemon and some other objects like nails, copper, and zinc. So what we do is we actually create electricity through the lemon, the copper, and the zinc nails to heat up the still wool and using toilet paper as kindling, hopefully start a fire. So what happens is you have two electrodes, you have the zinc nails and then the copper. And what happens is the lemon actually has, is rich in electrolytes. So what you do is you kind of loosen it up to get those juices kind of loose and ready. And then you put the zinc in and you put the copper in and you connect them and they start a circuit. And then when you take these two wires, you touch those two wires, um, the positive and the negative, kind of like a battery, to the steel wool. It should heat up the wool and light the um, toilet paper. That's the hopes, anyway. So we'll start by, you put in six zinc nails. Like so. So you got that. And then you do six copper. Like so. And then you have to connect them with wire. So I have this little wire that we'll use. And what you want to do is you want to start with the zinc nail, and then you want to go to the second copper, like so. So you want to leave this copper exposed. So first to the second, and then you just continue on like that. So this is actually the second to the third. Make sure it's connected. You need to be touching. There we go. And then this is the third. To the fourth. Fingers are too big. Like so, they're all connected. And then one, two, three, four. to the fifth. Connected. Oop, that one came off. So, first to the second, second to the third, third to the fourth, fourth to the fifth, I'm sure one nail. Sneak that one in there because you're supposed to have six on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So first to the second, second to the third, third to the fourth, fourth to the fifth, fifth, zinc to the sixth, copper. And that one's done. Check all your connections, make sure that they're all good. And they are, I believe. And then what you're left with is one copper.
which will act as your positive connection and then one zinc nail which will add which will act as your negative positive and negative either or Now you've got everything set, hopefully correctly, and you're ready to go. So over here, we have the steel wool, which will close the circuit, and hopefully light the toilet paper on fire. We're using little shreds of toilet paper as kindling. So again, we are using the electricity generated in the lemon through the positive and negative, the zinc and the copper to create heat and electricity that will oh, come right off. Try this again. Ah. Trial and error. Hopefully we're good now. Now let's try it. And I am not getting a reaction. Well, that is the theory behind what should happen. In the video, fire started um, pretty much immediately. Um, I did not have such luck. Um, but what could have gone wrong in this experiment is the only steel wool I found um, had soap in it, so I don't know if that played a role in it. Um, the galvanized nails were iron plated, and the or zinc plated, I mean. And then I could not find copper pins, so I had to use copper wire that, um, that I bought at uh, the hardware store. So in theory, this would generate electricity, the positive and negative through the uh, um, electrolyte fluid in the lemon. Uh, the circuit would have been connected in the steel wool and started a fire. Um, hopefully the rest of you had better luck than I did. But that's my experiment. Thank you.